You make your private life so public, uh, innocent bystanders bound to be curious. Maybe you could call round later, have a cup of tea, and bring me up to speed. <laughs> oh, what a bore you, Rita. Oh, I have a very high boredom threshold. Comes from years of standing next to him every day. <laughs> I uh, find it vulgar when uh, couples row in the street. It's not something the uh, former Mrs. Cole and I ever dabbled in. <laughs> I mean, now don't get me wrong, there were times when I wanted to strangle her slowly, but, I mean, throwing clothes down in the street and, and then calling each other all sorts. No, 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 it's common. <laughs> eh? You, rewriting history. All you and Angela ever did was row. I uh, fancy a biscuit-based uh, snack. Uh, Tina, maybe if you haven't got anywhere, you can have my spare room until you get somewhere. You're kidding. Look at this face. Is this the face of a kidder? Oh, Rita, you are one big ledge. <laughs> well, I hope to God that's a compliment. <laughs> uh, Norris, uh, would you bring me a Garibaldi biscuit as well? What did your last slave die of? Insolence. Chop, chop. <laughs> Here we are. A small place, but mine own. Well, mine own and yours now, I guess. It's lovely. It might be a bit too chintzy for you, but it's uh, warm, clean, cosy. And perfect. Thank you. Oh, who's this? Oh. Well, that's another young girl I was able to help. Oh. Many moons ago. Jenny was her name. Where is she now? I haven't a clue. Isn't that sad? Didn't you ever want kids? I'm sorry, could you not have them? No, no, it, it wasn't like that. It just never happened with me and Len. It's none of my business, me mouth. Hey, we're pals. It's fine. And if you ever tell me anything here, it will never be repeated to Norris. Oh, snap. <laughs> well, as your new lodger, how about make myself useful and put the kettle on? Oh, stuff that. There's a bottle of white in the fridge. It's not too early for a tiny little glass, is it? <laughs> Rita, you're going to be a bad influence on me. Who, oh, me? <laughs> never. Oh, Oh. Uh, can I say something? Yeah. I don't know what David said to you, but you do know it's all absolute twaddle, don't you? You're a bright, intelligent, sensitive girl with a good heart 
who's just going through a rough time. There's been plenty before who's had heartaches on this street, and there'll be plenty more to come. You're just normal. Thanks, Rita. Get the wine open. <laughs> Hi, Rita. Hi, Graham. I'm just showing Tina some old photos. Mm, hmm. Hey. Hey, did you know Rita used to be a singer? Hmm? In the clubs. So it's always <laughs> the quiet ones, isn't it, Ray? <laughs> Oh dear, who's the uh, drag queen in the beehive? That's Bet Lynch. She used to run the Rovers. Reed said, do you think we should get back downstairs? We've left Norris in the shop on his own. If we must. One drink, though. Uh, I think I might have a water. Lightweight. <laughs> what are you doing later, Graham? Only, I tell you what, why don't you come for your tea? I've got a box set of Cad Fael. I'm dying to crack open. Oh, thanks, Reet, but I was planning to take this one on a magical mystery tour. Oh, how wonderful. Were you? Ish. Ooh. Pick you up at seven. OK, yeah, great. Right, come on, then. Let's go and put these bags in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's all right. Oh, oh sorry. I'm hurting on my toes. For you. It's all right. I just thought you needed a bit of cheering up. Mm. So, step aboard my magical mystery tour. <laughs> around the park and keep your eye on the road driver I have a bottle of port warming by the heart I just heard it in a film oh all right okay let's do this time <laughs> <laughs> 